What is the difference between neurofeedback and biofeedback? I'm Dr. Trish Lee. I'm here to answer that question for you. Okay, so biofeedback is a more general term for all types of modalities that send information about how your body is performing back to you so that you can adjust the performance pattern. So kind of in old school thinking, there were ways that you could reduce your stress by feeling the muscle tension in your body by measuring that. And then you would have to cognitively think about relaxing your muscles so that you're using that feedback of muscle tension to be able to relax your muscles, to be able to feel less stressed. Now neurofeedback is like biofeedback on steroids because we combine high tech computers with that biofeedback aspect. So neurofeedback is actually called QEEG guided biofeedback. So what it means is it's brain guided biofeedback. And this is the way that neurofeedback works. You no longer have to think about it because the feedback is being sent directly to your brain and you don't have to process it on a cognitive level. So there's no more you thinking about what your system is doing to be able to change it. Now with advances in science and technology, the computer system provides feedback to your brain in the form of visual and auditory feedback and what that in a practical sense looks like is that when you're looking at the screen, so say you're doing our brain shift home neurofeedback program, you have your phone, you have your neurofeedback system on your head. When you look at your phone, if your brain is in the zone, your screen will play bright and your audio will play louder or you'll have more auditory feedback. Now, if your brain goes out of the zone and it becomes anxious, it uses that old mode of anxiety or it uses that old mode of ADHD or lack of focus, your screen will go dimmer and your audio will go lower or there'll be less auditory feedback. Now that feedback is to your brain, saying to your brain, woo you are not in the zone. You are not using the optimal brain performance pattern of calm focus. And so what your brain will naturally do because it wants the bright screen and it wants to hear what's going on, it will get your brain back into the zone by teaching it to be there because it gets the positive feedback and not the negative feedback. And then what happens is it creates a positive feedback loop in your life. So you watch the screen, it's playing brighter and brighter and brighter, which means your brain is making more of perfect processing speed in the middle, less of those speeds out in the extreme that are proven by science to create anxiety and lack of focus. Now you're here in the middle during your sessions. You do more and more home neurofeedback sessions and your brain's making more and more of that speed and less of these speeds that it used to make. Now you feel calmer and focus when you go to work or when you go to do school online, you're feeling calmer and more focused and you're using that pattern. You're being rewarded in the real world and your brain will make more and more of it. That is how neurofeedback works and that's how it's different from old school biofeedback where you got that information but then you had to think about the feedback that you're receiving to make those changes using your mind. Now you no longer use your mind, you use your brain to change your mind and your body. Okay, I hope that helps to answer your question. And remember, control your brain or it'll control you.